So we've already looked at post and get super globals, but remember when we were using the get super global, we had the problem that we needed to check if something was set uh, in case we run into any problems. So let's just take a little example of this again, and we'll see how we can very, very easily fix this with the ternary operator. So let's create a query in here, or at least add to the query string page equals one. We know from this, we could go ahead and show any results on page one. Obviously at the moment, it's just a small example, but you would eventually be able to do this. Now to actually get around this, if the page hasn't been specified, we would have to create an if statement. So let's go and echo out dollar underscore get page. And you could of course wrap this with text as well. And we see here that we get one. Now, if this doesn't exist, then obviously we see an undefined index. Now on a server that you upload your website to, uh, error reporting will be turned off or at least should be turned off. So your users won't see this. However, this could go ahead and break your page. So what we want to do is check if this is set and only do something if it is. Now, wouldn't it be a much better to go ahead and set this page as a default of page one if it wasn't supplied? So by this, I mean, maybe up here, we could say page equals one. And then we can say down here, well, if that page is set, so is set dollar underscore get page, then we overwrite that page variable with the value that's been defined in the query string. So that would make sense. Now down here, if we echo out page or use page to look up the results in our database or something, then we know that we're always going to have a value because we're setting it up here as a default of one. So let's go ahead and refresh now and you can see we get one. But if we do define out that page to say page five, we get that value as well because it's been overwritten with this if statement block. This approach is absolutely fine, but there's a much easier way to do this. And then there's an even easier way. So let's look at both of these. Okay, so the first way to do this would be to say, well, the page equals dollar underscore get page. But what we would do is we would use something called a ternary operator. Now the ternary operator is essentially an inline if statement. And what I mean by this is before this, we can say is set. So let's get rid of this for now. Dollar underscore get page like so. And then after this, we use a question mark to run or at least assign whatever we place here into this variable. So let's go ahead and do this and then I'll go over it once more. So dollar underscore get page. Then what we do is a kind of else we use a colon here and then we choose a default value. We know our default value if a page isn't set is one, so we can just place a one there. So what's happening here then is we're saying assign something to this page variable. We don't know what it's gonna be yet because this condition determines whether it's this value or whether it's this value. So in actual fact, what we're saying is set page to dollar underscore get page if this evaluates to true. Now in the case that this is set in the URI, it will evaluate to true and therefore we know this exists. Otherwise just set it to one. So let's go and echo out page and see what we get. So we're gonna come over, refresh here and we get exactly the same result. However, if I get rid of this, notice we get one. So that is basically our ternary operator. Now these can get much more complicated. So for example, you can go ahead and create a new ternary inside of either of these conditions or at least these blocks if you like. But to be honest, I would try and avoid that as much as possible. It's very useful for things like this uh, where you just want to very quickly do something without introducing an if statement. Now there's an even easier way. And as long as you are running PHP 7, then you will be able to do this. Now, if you need to check if you're running PHP 7, what I'd recommend you do is go ahead and run the PHP info function within a file. So you can just do it in here if you're following along and go ahead and refresh the page. So this will give you an overview of your PHP installation. In our case, you can see we are running PHP version seven. So now that we know that we are running PHP seven, we can look at an even easier way to do this. So all we do, is in here, we're gonna say dollar underscore get and then the page as we did before. But now we can use this operator 
to go ahead and set a default value. Much simpler than a ternary and it looks a lot cleaner and it kind of makes more sense. So all this is saying here is if this is set, use this value, otherwise use one, simple as that. So if we go over and we go ahead and add a page number onto here, you see that works as normal. However, if I don't supply the page number, notice that it works in exactly the same way. So just remember, you can use the ternary operator for anything at all. If a check is pretty simple, feel free to add a ternary in there just to clean up the amount of lines in your code. Like I said as well, if it's a more complex check, it's probably not a good idea to use a ternary because you'll end up with a very long line that's really hard to read and really hard to maintain. Now there's a shorthand way of doing a ternary. This isn't actually a ternary, but I'm gonna show you a quick example uh, of something that you may want to introduce into your code just to clear things up. So let's say we had a balance here of zero. This could be anything, bank account, whatever. Now what we want to do is we want to output an available balance. Now in our case, what we could do is we could say something like your available balance is, and then we could append on balance like so. Now, of course, that's going to go ahead and give us your available balance is zero. Of course, as we already know, if I was to change that, that changes that value. Now, what happens if I wanted to show zero here, the actual word zero, if it was in fact a zero balance? Well, in this case, what we would probably initially think about doing is creating an if statement. So we would say if balance is equal to zero, then we want to set balance to the text zero. So we're now replacing that with a string. So now this would work and it's perfectly acceptable to do this. There's nothing wrong with doing this, but this just makes it a little bit more difficult because we've introduced an additional three lines of code in here. So what we could do rather than doing this is maybe create an available balance variable. And in here, we could create a very shorthand ternary. Now what this is gonna be is balance, then as we saw before, our question mark and our colon, but we're gonna combine these together. This basically means, is this a false or zero value? If it is, we want to use zero, like so. So we're saying, if this is false, zero, or something like that, then we want to go and output that. So we're gonna uh, switch this variable here over to available balance. And now if we go and refresh, we get exactly the same result. And of course, if we switch this over to something like 10, then it works as normal. So there you have it. That is the ternary operator and a slight improvement over the ternary operator uh, when we looked at pulling in query string values. Just make sure you use it for short, sharp checks and nothing more complex.